everyone. It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tidbits. Well, I was trying to think of a topic to do for Tuesday Tidbits, but I really couldn't think of anything. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, you have to comment down below in the description box what, what you would like to see for Tuesday Tidbits. Um, I have been doing designer spotlights for quite a while, and today what I'm doing is kind of, well, it is a designer spotlight, sort of, except I don't, I, I, I'm not doing a as thorough of a review as I usually do for the designer spotlight, so um, it is sort of. So for today's Tuesday tidbits, I thought I just I would just show you what uh, what project I started working on today, and um, yeah, show you how much I've gotten uh, done on it already. I've got a lot done on it, and uh, talk about the project. Okay, <laughs> okay. So this is a project that I had listed as far as an item that I wanted to make for this year. I think I mentioned it when I did my make nine, which was not really nine, it's like 11, <laughs> but it was one of the crafting with friends videos that I talked about patterns I'd like to make for this year. Okay. Well, um, last week, or I had been showing you that I was working on the, that dancing pencils bag and I'm all, I'm pretty much finished with that. I'll, it'll be finished. Um, you know, today or tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, I decided to work on another project that I had listed. And this is the, uh, it's actually a crochet hook case and it is called the Ammonite hook case. And it is on a website that is called, I'm looking here on my computer, um, look at what I made.net. And it's the same designer. It's Deb, uh, I always, Never can remember how you pronounce her name, but it's the same designer that made that design Sophie's Universe, the blanket I did for the 100 days of crochet or whatever it was that we called it last year when I posted a picture every day of that blanket. Well, um, this is the same designer, De uh, Deborah somebody. I, I don't know. I always forget how you pronounce her last name. But anyway, I'll link it down below in the description box. And while you're there, if you want to check out this hook case pattern that I'm working on, um, check out her, her other patterns as well. She's got, of course, the Sophie's Universe blanket. She's got another one that's called the Charlotte's Universe blanket because she made a square that she named, she called Charlotte. And in fact, I think I have made that square one time. And then she's got like one square. It was a blanket that's called Charlotte's Dream, maybe? Now I can't even remember, but it was where well, you made a bunch of those squares and put them together and it was so pretty. And I made the first square, it's very pretty square, but then I didn't go any further with it. But anyway, so she's got several blanket patterns. They were crochet along, some of them were several years ago, like 2018, you know, around that time in 2019, maybe 2017 kind of a span of a few years there. She's got one uh, pattern I was looking at that was really cool looking, and it's called the Ubuntu blanket, I think. I'll put a screenshot, I took a screenshot, I'll put it up right here so you can see the picture. But here's this blanket. It looks like it's a hexagon blanket, and it's got where you make these diamond shapes and then you put them together to make a star. Isn't that awesome? I just think that's such an interesting blanket. I may have to put that on my to-do list for some some time. <laughs> um, anyway, she's got other product uh, products, other projects. Uh, she's got some blankets. She's got just squares. Uh, she's got um, some shawls and um, some small children's toys stuffed, like a few stuffed animals and stuffed like a stuffed like a, like an airplane and a stuffed truck and you know stuff like that really cute anyway so uh so there's the semi designer spotlight part <laughs> but anyway check her website out she's got some really nice uh projects okay so among her projects is the ammonite hook case and i will pop it in right here so here's a picture of it and as you can see it's like a trifold i think it's a trifold hook case and it's got this closure on the top that looks like a shell, like a seashell, like a side slice piece, I guess. And maybe that's why it's called ammonite. Is it ammonite a shell? I should have looked it up. I didn't. But anyway, I just thought it was really cool. And I was wanting to make it because I've got 
a lot of um, hooks. I mean, you can see my little container right here, and this is just a few of them right here. And I just kept, these are just a, just a few of them. I've got a lot more in, back in my craft room. And mo a lot of them have these, um, oh, the, you know, the cushion handles, the little rubber cushion handles. And so my idea is when I saw that hook case, let me put that there, uh, that I would make the hook case and then I'm, I'm going to pick out some, because I've got, I've got, like I said, I've got so many sets of these uh, crochet hooks. I can't use them all, you know, there's no way. <laughs> so um, I thought I would make the case, put the hooks in the case, and then maybe have it like as, as a giveaway or something on, on um, you know, in, on my channel here. Anyway, so I started working on the hook case. The yarn I'm using, it called for DK weight yarn. And so I had this one, and, and it said, I believe she said it took like 65 grams of, yarn and there was um some yarn i had in there that i i thought i was going to use but i discovered it was only a 50 gram skein and only had one of that colorway and i thought okay well i need to look at some of my my uh skein single skeins that are like 100 gram balls so i know for sure i'd have enough of course that's more than enough anyway i found this one single skein of bernat softy baby right here and I only have one single skein of it. And I thought, well, that would be perfect to do a project, something like that. Because, I mean, you know, besides just using it to make some hats or something, I mean, you know, one skein is not going to go real far. So anyway, look at that. Look at the pretty colors. Aren't those pretty? It's kind of a, there's a pink and a white and a gray. And I don't know what that color is. Kind of a rose, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's called... Princess Pebbles. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and I've had it for a long time. Uh, I don't know if it was some, might have been something I got on clearance, you know, somewhere or something. I don't know for sure. But anyway, Bernat Softy Baby in Princess Pebbles. Okay. And so I thought I was going to make it with this. And then I thought, well, it's variegated. So I thought, well, maybe the, the ammonite, which is the shell part that scout, uh, scalloped looking shell thing, not scalloped, twirled, I don't know, swirled shell, I guess. Anyway, uh, maybe I'd do that in some solid color that would be part, you know, that so that way it would stand out. And so I have this one, also Bernat Softy Baby, and it is in the colorway flannel, and there is gray in this. And so I'm thinking about using this for that, that shell that goes over that's the, uh, the button closure. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, started working on the hook case. I'm using a, oh, sorry, my elbow hit the wall. <laughs> um, I'm using a four millimeter hook. I don't know if I said that already, but that's what it called for. And this hook case makes 12 little places for hooks. And in the, in the pattern, it even tells you if you want a case that makes less, it tells you like, how much to chain, you know, it's like chain how many multiples less. If you only want one that's got maybe eight little pockets or something, you know. Um, and then if you want it to hold more, it tells you how you increase. I think it's like a multiple of eight stitches or something. Anyway, so here's what I've done already. Look how it's coming out. I think it's really cool. And it's, okay, so the it's written kind of, I mean, it's written good. But and but as I'm working on this, I'm thinking written good, written well. <laughs> um, I'm I'm thinking how in the world did she come up with this design? You know, because the the pockets. Let me stick my finger down here. See, <laughs> they're they're worked into the design. I mean, how can I show you? Look, uh, see that little right there. Anyway. They're worked into the design. Let me put my hook down in there and you can see. Like, okay, see? Now, if I push it far, you can see the bottom of it, see? Okay, but 
that is so neat because I thought it was going to have to be a flat piece and then I'd have to try to tack it down like on either side of the hook and then put the pieces together. But all of this is in one piece. Now, I did have to cut and now I'm on like the back, not, I don't know if it's a flat, but it's like the back side of it. And I did have to cut my yarn and start again to get this, this flap started. Um, I guess I'll call it a flap. I don't, it's don't flap over though. But anyway, um, and then this is open right here and then the bottom is open here. So I think you probably at the end, you'll go around the whole thing and that will close it up, I guess. But it's, the design is really interesting. Uh, row, I so say you do the chain, you chain a certain amount of numbers. That's the first row or round one, row, whatever. And then row two, I think is is not too difficult, but then I think row, th no, it's row two, yeah. You really have to read the instructions to figure out what in the world you're doing because it just, it's really strange. But I believe there's a, there's a video tutorial that, that demonstrates that. I didn't check it out to look, but in the um, explanation of the pattern or whatever, I think there's a link but the link is where the link to the video tutorial is, is up in the section where it talks about what you need for the pattern, you know, the materials that you need, like how much yarn you need, what hook size to, you know, use, uh, that you need stitch markers and like that. So that's where that tutorial is, okay? So if you want, if you want to look at that tutorial, I think that'll probably demonstrate how this, those things are formed <laughs> because uh, I don't know how to describe it. And like I said, I just had to read it. But I mean, I figured it out by reading the instructions. Uh, but if you happen to have trouble with it, then you can check that tutorial out. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, I think it's going to be really cool. Let me put a few hooks in here. And, um, and the hooks are generous size. I mean, here's a pretty good size hook and it fits down into that pocket yeah um, different sizes and the one I'm doing is making 12 um, has 12 little slots or pockets or whatever I can't see I don't know if you can see can you see yeah see <laughs> okay and I think the way it folds it's gonna fold like a like a tri-fold thing like that and then that shell piece is going to come over and then you'll put a button closure but I, I just, I'd really like the colors and I think that the the pooling the way the patterning is coming out is really interesting yeah really cool cool pattern <laughs> and so that's what I'm working on today I just started it and I've gotten a long I've gotten a lot done on it just you know I'm sitting here look watching videos on my computer <laughs> and um uh, just going away, you know, getting, just plugging along with it, not plugging. Anyway, stitching along. <laughs> and uh, that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, check out her website. She has some really cute patterns in there, some nice, some uh, really nice looking blanket patterns. And I mean, I, I, I said that earlier in the video, but she's got shawls and a few, and then she's got a few bags and, and different things that you can check out on her website. <laughs> um, so I guess that is it for today's Tuesday tidbits. Let me know what you're working on today, this Tuesday. Uh, come back tomorrow and we I will be right here again and we will do crafting with friends and I'll show you my progress on the Felix blanket, talk about what happened to my husband and I this past weekend, <laughs> what we did over the weekend or what we didn't do, and um, and I'll talk about a few things that I've worked on and, and different things. I've got some finishes that, you know, I finished several items, and um, um, but of course I won't show you the finished ones until Thursday, but I can talk, tell you, talk to you about them a little bit, give you a teaser. <laughs> But yeah, we'll talk about what I've been working on and, and what happened over the weekend and uh, my progress on my Felix blanket. Yeah, so come back tomorrow. We'll have another visit. Everybody have a wonderful Tuesday and we will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.